Say that looks can be deceiving There's been rumors going around One look at me is the same thing as believing Everything you yeah. heard. Uh, we're huggers here, so. <laughs> we have some special guests. We have Stu and his daughter Erica from Tokyo, and they are going to help us plant some willow walnut trees today. <laughs> so, Stu, you've been uh, watching. You've been commenting on the channel for a long time. Yep. Remember the big, or the, the the big planer, the hand planer. Yep. You sent that to yep. me in the yep. beautiful box, which yep. I like even better than the planer. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, so we uh, we are planting um, a a food forest. Right? Oh, our is that, is fancy that, terminology. That's, that's the new term for uh, walnuts out in the lower pasture. <laughs> uh, a food forest. But what we've been wanting to do is we have the orchard that we've put in um, that we've been sharing with you. Um, but we have an area down here that's uh, very, very wet. It's got a lot of uh, water in it. And what we're hoping to do is, is to plant trees down here that are going to be a little bit less maintenance. Where we can kind of just turn them loose. And we're hoping to plant so many that we can have some for the animals and some for us. Oh, yeah. That there'll be so much that there'll be some left over for us. So yeah. we thought you guys would uh, bring you guys along uh, as we're going to be planting walnuts today uh, with the deer cages. And uh, we'll just take it from there. So I hope you enjoy, enjoy the video. Mm, please do. So this is a portion of the of uh, the homestead that you probably haven't seen because we recently cleared it last year. It was, do you see that brush over there? All that thick stuff. It was all so thick in here we couldn't even wa walk in here. We didn't even know what we had. Uh, so we brought the brush hog down here and I spent a half a day clearing that all out. And it's what's nice about it is it stays wet year round. We have a, uh, a stream that runs over here in the bank. We have a artesian fed spring that runs right through there and so this area is really well watered so what we're hoping to do is to basically plant a fruit forest down here so where we're starting with the uh the, the walnuts are these english or black walnuts black most of them black walnuts i think we've got one english and the rest are black so Stuart, what is this this is probably what the fifth or sixth one that we've got in uh one two three four i think this is number five yeah it is our biggest concern is uh the of course the deer, deer. The, the deer will come down here and decimate them but this <laughs> is um one of the little guys walnut seedling these are the ones that uh, the folks at rain tree uh, brought us and we're really curious to see how they do sweet loaf what are you doing? It's awfully bright. <laughs> oh, it's hard to be a baby. Someone is just starting to, to roll over and to move and to sit up. <laughs> it's problematic. She's waking herself up because she's hitting the sides of the crib. So, Erica, is this, uh, you use fence players a lot? Nope. Is this the first time? <laughs> yep. Erica is a brand newly minted electrical engineer. Congratulations. Well, I mean... To She's be not a, a professional, PM, I gotta go through get a job, do the PN for a couple of years, and pass the test. Well, <laughs> well she's passed her schooling. Can you wire yeah. up some plugs while you're here? Uh, that's an electrician's job. I do like <laughs> car line and like chips and stuff. Details, details. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but we've got more trees down there, and we are doing approximately eight paces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And we're leaving enough room to mow over there, so we're gonna want Stuart, hold it right there, please. All right, Stuart. Since you've lived in Japan for so long, you should be able to know how to drive a Japanese tractor, right? <laughs> you guys drive on the wrong side of the road, though. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Not the wrong side of the field, though. At least we don't use the metric system. We have a conundrum. We go ripping through here on 30 miles an hour on our dirt bikes. Well, I did leave enough area for us to ride through. Hello. Oh, I'm putting a uh, um, organic fertilizer in, mixing it, and. Uh, so we're putting fertilizer in, mixing it, helping the roots get going. Mm -hmm. I'll mix it in here. It's 
pretty incredible. We're really blessed to earth. There's not a rock in the place. It's unbelievable. The soil is just beautiful, too. I cannot imagine the trees not enjoying it. I wonder where the rocks all are. <laughs> Somewhere there's, else. There's some piles of them. I guess the old farmers, maybe they went down five feet huh, and took them all out. It's just amazing. Like, it's just so great. The only th problem we had was the grass binding up the, the teeth on the on the hoe digger or the hole digger. Yeah. Other than that, just so nice and smooth. And the, gra the dirt's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Anybody love to have that in their garden? What's that? From the no, city, no, we don't. It's we feel very fortunate to be out here. You are, and it's great. But you guys work at it too. Yeah, but it's yeah, but you do. You enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. but you also you work at yeah. being out here. I mean, it's not easy, right? No, it's a it takes a conscious effort, but uh, it's it's what more than everyone works hard. And the guy that goes in yeah and does roofing all day and drywall. I mean, it, we all work hard. That's in, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't or like wood this. shop. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wrap these up. Yeah, so Stu and I, uh, we've got uh, some old fencing. We, uh, there was the, the homestead used to be an alpaca. They had 150 alpaca wow. here. And so there was a ton of fencing up. And so we've, Brian and I, over the last couple of years, have been kind of slowly taking a lot of that down uh, and saving it. So we're, reu we're reusing it for the recycling. Uh, yeah, for the recycling the for the deer fence. So I think this old fencing probably has a half life of what, 100 years? Probably. So we're just wrapping these uh, three posts kind of a triangle um, and that would be enough to keep the deer out. Once they get above this, then they should be able to survive pretty much on their own, I think. It was like a six month battle. Like turning an aircraft carrier, right? You know, he says it's just like, yeah. you know. This is one of the, or West, uh, is this the Western Red? Is, is that Sequoia? This is Sequoia. This was, no, I think. Yeah, no. yeah you're right. Sure. I, it might be Western Red. One or the other. We did both. This was probably two years ago we planted, and I I forgot that we'd even had this. No, one this here. is last year. So that was a plug. Yeah, this was a plug from last year. Okay, so that was Western Red. Training going on the job here. Oh, you're a natural. You've been around equipment, I can I have, tell. But a long time ago. Watch out, Ginger Snap. Can you get wet, Ginger? Or white? Wet or white, or both. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting to see how these uh, these walnuts do down here. We uh, are kind of experimenting. Uh, with uh, on the lower end down there towards the north, it, the last hole that we dug was actually was about two feet deep, and there was water in the bottom. It's really, really wet. Stays wet year round, so that's why we've been planting cedars down here. Um, and then we started working up to the south, uh, where it's a little bit drier. You could probably see from some of the holes that we dug, the soil's changing quite a bit. So we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on these and see how they do over the next uh, year or two. And then we'll kind of get an idea of what type of uh, soil that they're going to, I guess, do the best in. Um, and uh, go from there. It's been said that many hands make for light work, and that was certainly the, the case yesterday. 
Uh, special thanks uh, to our good friend Stu and his daughter Erica from coming all the way from far, far away uh, to come and to, to spend the day with us. Of course, you know everything. You never have enough time to do all the things you want to do, and uh, but uh, we tried to make the most of it. We uh, got done really quickly. We planted uh, 11 of our walnut trees safely in cages, and uh, that was really nice. I really appreciate their help on that, and we got to come back and have a nice lunch and weather the weather was just couldn't have been better and uh, we went for a dirt bike ride and uh, really enjoyed uh, really enjoyed having uh, the fellowship and the company and um, it was a good day it was one of those days that uh, uh, I'll remember for the rest of my life so coming up we have a very special treat for you guys Uh, Stuart is actually a uh, master uh, I would say consider him a master woodworker in the Japanese tradition, and especially on the lathe. Now, as you guys know, I purchased a lathe, um, I guess it was maybe last year, and in all honesty, I know nothing about it. Uh, Stuart came into my shop yesterday, and uh, we were kind of taking a look at the lathe and um, what I had, and uh, (laughs) I think it was quite evident that uh, I obviously don't know what I'm doing and probably going to end up hurting myself. So he uh, very graciously agreed to come back uh, this morning uh, and to give us a quick tutorial. Uh, one of the he asked me what what is it that you want to do with this lathe? And I said, well, I think for me the the thing that I would probably enjoy doing the most is making tool handles for socket chisels and screwdrivers and such. And he said, well, we'll we'll uh, we'll get you all sorted out on that. So uh, that will be coming up. I'll take the video camera in there, and we have a it's really a special treat to have. Um, uh, to have this, uh, to have him here uh, showing us uh, uh, a few tricks of the trade. So uh, that will be coming up soon. Thanks. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy this. And wives, remember, Father's Day is coming up, and uh, our fathers do a lot for our families, and is, are there are key elements, and um, it's nice to recognize them. I think sometimes uh, it's easy to overlook Father's Day and uh, the role that the fathers play. Uh, in our society, and I um, just want to remind you all to uh, take a day and uh, and celebrate this because we don't we don't celebrate enough. Um, seems to me. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.